kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. The deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? Wanted to switch I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could down. be our deputy. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Where are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, Winky. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. The Mind Place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look.
I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it? We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. A creepy twig sculpture? Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that. <sighs> <clears throat> I'll be back in a second. Roger. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies.
Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Coffee's on me. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here?
I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. We forgot the UFO cover up. Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? This is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Study is positioned on the table. Ritualistic.
another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Doesn't make sense. Nope.
Incised stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Think Saga. Okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. 
Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual, a Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? This mug always cheers me up. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay, well I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here.
this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. <laughs>